All right, we're getting into our ninth week. I told you last time that our plan now would be dependent on how I was feeling, and I'm feeling pretty good. This will be uh, our seventh, uh, eighth day of detoxing, and uh, with what I use from Nature Sunshine. Uh, it's very easy, it's twice a day use, and with that I'm trying to cut back on a lot of the bad foods, although <clears throat> I eat pretty well, but I'm uh, trying to maximize on decreasing carbohydrates, um, decreasing f total calories per day, and cutting back a bit on exercise. As I mentioned last week, you're going to uh, hold off on taking any further supplements until next time. But uh, the objective, if you can't get a, a good, sound, nutritional a hold of what you're supposed to be eating, or if you're still having cravings, please uh, seek out a registered dietitian near you, and I'll put a link to uh, finding a registered dietitian. Um, otherwise, with regards to activity, as I mentioned, uh, I want you to continue on with some form of exercise, just decrease it by about 20%. 20% uh, decrease in duration, intensity, um, speed, distance, uh, whatever you are doing with your exercises, you still should be continuing some form of movement, but just decrease it while you're uh, limiting your or restricting your diet. The final thing I want you to uh, practice is meditation. Uh, this week, uh, it happens to coincide with the beginning of a new 21-day meditation challenge with the Chopra Center. So I will put a link there. Um, check it out. It's free, and it involves um, listening to Oprah and Deepak talk about a topic for the di for the week, or for the day, I'm sorry, and then trying to uh, capture that message in the beginning of the day and go back to it all during your day. So uh, check it out. If you don't, uh, if meditation doesn't resonate with you, just do the 478 breath work in the morning and hopefully before you go to sleep. Um, what I wanted to stress this week is stretching. Nobody likes stretching. Uh, when I talk to my athletes uh, about stretching, I'll hear, oh yeah, I stretch, and it'll be like a three minute bouncing hamstring uh, something or other. The idea of stretching, especially when you're detoxing, is really uh, more of uh, getting the body ready to prepare for exercise. But in the time of detoxing, most of us don't do any um, twisting. And there's a concept when you uh, do yoga poses that involve twisting. You're actually compressing the abdominal cavity. So you're kind of wringing out the organs in the abdomen. It's the theory, but um, regardless of whether it's proven or not, it makes people, most people feel pretty good. Whether you're in your chair uh, in the middle of an eight-hour shift, or you're waking up and you want to do some stretches, try to incorporate, I'm going to show you some fast ones now. We'll do, we'll start with standing. Um, and uh, for the camera angle, um, I'm going to do mine in a, what, what's considered a chair pose in yoga. Chair pose in yoga is when you go down and work on your quads in addition. What I've I tried to adopt with my uh, routine before exercise is something of a swimmer maneuver. So you pretend there's a circle right around like this, and your arc should be that with your right hand and your left hand. I call it swimming because it's almost like you're going like, into a backstroke. So you lift up, follow the arc, come back down. Lift up, follow the arc, come back down. And if you keep your knees somewhat together, you'll be moving and getting into a modified twisting maneuver. And you will get a little bit of stretching to the low back. You can actually warm up your lumbar spine, your shoulders. You'll be working on your quads and warming them up. And you breathe in unison with the movement. So, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Then you try to follow the vision path of your hand with your eyes. So you should see line of sight that correlates with your sweeping hand, okay? So that'll be one. Next, in yoga, we also have something called crescent pose. 
That's when your heel is up, you're on your toes, knee stays above the ankle, and usually you lift up like this. Always try to keep the legs straight. But in this case, if it's too much for you, you can always drop the knee. The idea in crescent pose is to get into hooking the opposite elbow over the knee, over the knee or on the knee, whatever you can get, and using that as a wedge or a leverage to rotate. Now if you can rotate, you'll actually be able to use your arm and twist. So I'll switch. Again, ball the foot, knee straight, knee above your ankle. First you make sure you're straight up, and then you hook. In yoga we start with prayer pose, and then rotate around, and try to maintain balance while looking up. Whatever you decide, don't have to do that, but now some of you will start like this, and this is about all we'll get. Some of you can actually hook the elbow and go. If you use this, you can actually press your palms together and get a little more push to look upward. Another challenge <clears throat> for if you need more challenge, palm down, lift up. And you have to just make sure that you're feeling the stretch in the low back. And you hold the pose. Just in the beginning, it's dynamic. Here, it's holding the pose, breathing. Every time you take a deep breath in, you extend the finger or hand and elongate and you extend our imaginary um, axis that goes from the back leg through the crown of my head. And you breathe every breath out, you try to deepen the pose. And you come out just the way you came in. And again, you can always drop to the knee if you have to. The final will be on the ground. It's called a knee down twist. This is probably the easiest and I have a few videos where I've done um, knee down twist for ITB stretching, IT band stretching. Um, but the ease, the, essentially, I'm going to lie back now. Essentially, just lay on your back, lower down, bring the knees up, stretch, pull in, and then knee goes to one side arm and shoulder go to the other side. The objective is to hold the shoulder down and the knee falls wherever it has to fall. The classic is arms apart, but I like to put a little more of a pull into the knee so I again feel it down here. And then just to make it balanced, pull in the knee, drip to the other side, arm goes opposite, shoulder tries to touch and you breathe, every breath in, you extend the hand, every breath out, try to relax and get more into the twist. So, those are my three suggestions for you to develop a stretching routine, whether you do it in the morning, and I just buzz through that. You can add five breaths for each position, five swings, five twists in crescent, five knee down twists. Uh, the word twist is not, uh, we don't really use the word twist in yoga, but again for this presentation, I think it's a great visual and auditory to figure, okay, this is the position or this is what I should be doing. If you do that, you work on your breath, you incorporate it into some form of daily practice. I think, especially during this last week of detoxing, it'll help with not only getting a little mobility in the trunk, and you, you don't have to be skinny, you can do this uh, no matter what weight you are, no matter how flexible you are, but um, I think it adds to the energy movement if you're thinking in terms of energy, or it just adds to feeling really good before you start an exercise routine or before you start your day. The idea is to <clears throat> be prepared for the entire day, whether you increase serotonin by taking Zoloft, Prozac, or Paxil, or you increase serotonin by doing some breaths. Obviously, I would do the breaths as far as keeping that serotonin up all day long in your system, uh, eating properly, eating on time, um, and then practicing some form of 
meditation throughout the day. Uh, we'll always keep you grounded so you can tolerate the stress, you can fight the cancer that's coming, you can help with the cholesterol that's trying to attack your uh, blood vessels. So all these things do help in the long run. And this will hopefully launch us into the last three weeks of our challenge to change.